Hi, this tutorial is the third in the hemostasis series. And in this video, I'm going to be looking at anticoagulants and thrombolytic drugs. So in the last tutorial, we talked about the coagulation cascade and how factor 10 is converted into factor 10A Factor 10A catalyzes the conversion of prothrombin into thrombin, which in turn catalyzes the conversion of fibrinogen into fibrin. We also looked at how factor 10 can be converted into factor 10A by the intrinsic pathway or the extrinsic pathway. Now we're going to have a look at how some drugs act on this pathway, but first of all we've got to add in another couple of elements. The first one is an endogenous, meaning present in the body, compound known as antithrombin-3, and it's an inhibitor of 10A. Fibrin can also be broken down in the body into fibrin degradation products. And this is catalyzed by an enzyme called plasmin, which is created from a protein called plasminogen. So a couple of very commonly used drugs are heparin, or its cousin, low molecular weight heparin, or LMWH for short. And these two drugs are activators of antithrombin-3, thereby inhibiting factor 10A and stopping the coagulation cascade. If a thrombus is formed, we can use the drugs tissue plasminogen activator, or TPA, or streptokinase, which are drugs which activate the conversion of plasminogen into plasmin. Now antithrombin-3 actually inhibits thrombin production as well, so its effects are twofold. Now let's have a look at another mechanism. In the body, Glutamic acid plus oxygen and carbon dioxide can be converted into a weird amino acid called gamma carboxyglutamic acid. And this strange amino acid is a component in factors 2, 7, 9, and 10. Now this conversion process requires reduced vitamin K. Which then becomes oxidized vitamin K. So it helps reduce the glutamic acid reaction. Oxidized vitamin K then gets converted back into vitamin K and then again into reduced vitamin K. And this occurs by the action of an enzyme called vitamin K reductase, which acts at both steps. Now a very commonly used drug called warfarin is a vitamin K reductase inhibitor. Therefore, no reduced vitamin K is produced and no gamma carboxyglutamic acid is produced. Therefore, factors 2, 7, 9 and 10 can't be produced and the coagulation cascade doesn't work. And that's an overview of hemostasis, anticoagulants, and thrombolytics. For more free tutorials and the PDF for this tutorial, visit 
www.handwrittentutorials.com.